Hello everyone, Chief here. Welcome back to some more Halo 4 content. What I have for you guys today is another DLC pack within the Halo 4 Champions bundle, and that is the Bullseye Map Pack. Now this map pack doesn't just come with maps, it also comes with an armor set. But first, the map pack is available today. It costs $6 or 480 Microsoft points, and it is part of the Halo 4 Champions bundle. So you get the, all of this and more if you get the bundle. As you can see here, the armor set that comes with the Bullseye Map Pack is the Ricochet Armor. As you can see, very sporty like and it also comes with a different variant helmet you throw it on there and it's kind of got these kind of like eagle wings on the side of the helmet they're very very cool armor set so when you purchase the bullseye map pack you get the armor ricochet set like you've seen before and early access to a brand new game type that is ricochet that is what you're watching in the background here as we do an overview of the map ricochet will be released to the public within a few weeks for free Ricochet is a fast-paced grab ball competition that mixes combat with team play. Basically, the easiest way to describe it, it's like Griff Ball, but with your loadouts, you get to shoot your guns, you get to throw the ball, so it's kind of like American football. You can go do slam dunks, alley-oops, interceptions, play a goalkeeper. So much fun. The announcer just makes it that much more intense. And right at the beginning, there's really cool music. It kind of loads up. It almost sounds like you're on the set of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire when it all starts up and all the lights spawn up on you. So it's a lot of fun. But Bullseye also comes with two multiplayer maps. One of them being Pitfall, the return of Halo 3's fan favorite, The Pit, and another one by the name of Vertigo. But we'll get to that in a moment here. What you're looking at is obviously Pitfall. Things have obviously changed. We're right here in the sword room here. They've extended the hallway, made it wider. They can have a grav lift up and a latch down below to drop on down out of sword room. Now they have said that there are forge pieces so you can block that off and make it a more vanilla experience in your custom games. And it'll probably be a variant in multiplayer later on that's more vanilla with that hallway, much more narrow like the traditional pit. So as you can see, Pitfall is very run down, very reminiscent of Pit. They've added a few new things like the competitive jump up spots off the crates on the side. The pop up kind of targets do appear when you walk on by. As you see, sand, everything, it just looks awesome. The upper areas above where the goals are in Ricochet are closed off. They no longer exist in the map, which is kind of nice. I found too many people camped in there in Halo 3 if they somehow did spawn up there. But as you can see, Pitfall just looks awesome. It's like the pits that we've always known and loved. As, here's a little look at the top here. Very run down, very abandoned facility. It just looks spectacular and I had so much fun playing with this early in the hours and on Ricochet. Good lord, Ricochet is just so much fun. You have to check it out. I really recommend this bundle. It saves you money and why not? If, if not, just at least get the Bullseye Map Pack. Oh my goodness, Pitfall is awesome. Now on to the second map in the Bullseye Map Pack and the final map and a brand new one by the name of Vertigo. It's a set of towers perched atop a cliff on the edge of a distant world. Very reminiscent of uh, some different Halo 3 maps, you know, kind of beach-like-esque. Some caves here. Some cool things here. The first game changers in Halo in a long time. As you can see, shooting those red little buttons there shocks the nearby platforms, dropping everybody's shields. So if you shoot them, it's basically a one-shot headshot. It's a lot of fun. Those triggers, as of right now, reactivate every two minutes or so. As you can see, they do cover on up. It's a lot of fun, and actually, there's an achievement if you shoot both of them in one game. And uh, I already did that. A lot of people are already kind of waiting for them to pop back up, waiting in that two-minute interval. And the gameplay in the background is King of the Hill, so you kind of get to see where the hill rotation does happen in Vertigo. A lot of fun here. Lots of little lifts, different neat towers different sections within the caves where the, the King of the Hill placement may be. This bottom place is just a cluster. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people were worried about this map, thought it was just way too big, but it doesn't play like the size it is. It plays so much more like a very, very close quarters map. The only other way I can really describe it is it plays similar to the map Shutout. It just everyone's kind of forced up top getting some elevation and shooting against each other you know from these different towers with a few people jumping on down flanking through the caves going down below taking all the lifts jumping through the cracks in the ceiling as you can see here you can jump on down go back up the lift so many different ways you can play this here king of the hill is a lot of fun i can definitely see why king of the hill is definitely a very very prominent game type for this map it's just perfectly made for it 
With that, there isn't much more to say about the map Vertigo. I really like it. I hope they introduce uh, more game changer type things like elements like those red switches and future Halo maps or future Halo games if this is the last DLC. We have no clue what's going to be happening to Halo 4 here. This map is just a lot of fun, a breath of fresh air. I really like it and uh, pay attention and watch out for those uh, two minute intervals there when those buttons do become reactivated because you can catch yourself out off guard there and uh, you can accidentally shock your teammates too so make sure they're out of the area there i've made that mistake once or twice already so hope you guys enjoyed this video i really recommend the bullseye map pack out of anything else and uh, I really recommend if you are going to get everything, just go and get the Halo 4 Champions Bundle. You will save money and you'll also get tons of bonus content, which I'll be covering in another video. Check out the other videos in the post roll. My name is Chief and I'm signing out. Have a good day, everyone.